on the Health Watch tonight, healing organs with a single touch. Scientists have developed a chip the size of a cufflink that when touched to the skin with an electrical current will inject DNA into skin cells in less than a second. The genetic material then can reprogram skin cells to become virtually any type of cell in the body. Using the chip in mice, scientists were able to heal blood vessels in damaged legs, restore brain tissue after a stroke. Dr. Malika here now, and this is remarkable. I know, how cool is this? Yeah. It's really amazing. And as you can imagine, this could be used for endless for anything, things. Yeah. I mean, one of their big goals, the scientists' goals, is to use it to try to restore brain tissue in people with Parkinson's and with Alzheimer's. And because you're using the patient's own cells, they don't have to take anti-rejection medications, mm. which is always such a big deal when you're doing a transplant, for example. So hasn't yet been tested on humans, promising in mice. They're hoping to begin human clinical trials within a year. Really does sound like science fiction. And how can onions taste good but make us feel bad? Well, researchers say cutting into an onion releases an irritant chemical that hits the front of the eye which sends an alert to the brain the brain then tells your eye to release tears to wash the chemical away that causes the crying <laughs> so why is understanding this so interesting <laughs> <laughs> so as you can imagine onions actually produce this noxious chemical as a way to protect themselves against predators really? and you go but who cares okay. what the chemical well scientists are saying now that they have a better understanding of not only what that chemical is but its structure and what the pathways are that they could one day produce tear free onions really wouldn't that be awesome because you're constantly trying to like I, when i wear my contact lenses i'm not affected because it's not hitting my cornea but yeah. when i cut them with glasses and some well, onions are worse than other onions Right? I don't know. It's true. Yellow onions, onions Vidalia onions? No, it just depends on the onion. Okay. Thank you, Dr. 